Hey everybody. So here's a wood lathe I just picked up the other day. I haven't opened it up yet. It's got a cutting diameter of 14 inches and a cutting length of 40. That's far more than I'll ever use, but that 14 inches is definitely going to be prime. Got it for 120 bucks locally. I'm hoping uh, this will work out pretty good. I haven't figured out where I'm going to quite put it yet. But uh, the battery's on the camera a little low, so I'm going to put that on the charger for a few, and uh, I'll crack this open and pull it out of the box, see what we got. This is definitely huge. I'm probably going to have to cut the box away from uh, the package rather than trying to pull it out. So, uh, yeah, this is crazy. I think I'm going to sit down with the instructions here and read those for a little bit and uh, get back to this thing. See you in a few. Well, this is definitely a hell of a lot of metal. An extender here is pretty cool. It's got to be bolted on to the end. So it's nice that uh, you don't have to do that uh, at once. That definitely saves a lot of space if you just want to use a uh, less intrusive size into your place. This part here slides along the rail really nice and that clamps down with one of these guys here. Pretty much all the parts you need except for lots of nuts and bolts. So bolts to connect these two rails together at that end are not included. The directions, which is a pretty good manual, 17-18 pages worth of it, tells you uh, not only how the parts go together, but also a few techniques on how to use the tools and of course a nice big parts list there. This is definitely not a model kit that I could build, that's for sure. So I do have to get some uh, lathe tools. Uh, I forget what they're called specifically, but basically it's a set of chisels to actually cut the wood down. And there's a few proper techniques for how to put the wood into the, uh, build, the bits here. And I'll get all the names down as I go. One of the things the directions say, and I really should have expected this, is that you need to bolt the lathe down to a surface. So uh, preferably, obviously, a level surface, and preferably one that's fully stationary and fixed. So uh, I know somebody with a garage that might be interested in having this set up there, in which case I might go over there and maybe permanently set it up. Or if I can make something here in the apartment, that would definitely work out too. I don't know how loud this is going to be yet. I haven't plugged it in or anything. But uh, it's definitely a huge piece of kit, that's for sure. And uh, it's going to be really fun to play with. That's uh, also for darn sure. Don't know that there's much else I can say about it. 120 bucks, you definitely get a decent amount of steel for that. And uh, as long as it works, which I suppose I probably should at least plug it in and see how well it does there. But uh, I don't think the wall circuits, yeah, they are three-prong. So uh, maybe I'll get one more clip of just firing this thing up. I had to unplug the lamp there because there's only so many spots, but uh, here we go. Let's actually get out of the way here just in case. It's not too bad at all. I don't know what the speed is, but to change the speed, you got to go inside this back panel here and uh, change the belts, which doesn't look like too difficult a proposition. They give you these two wrenches, but neither of them fits on that back bolt, which opens up the back housing. So uh, I'll have to get something like that. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Definitely a hell of a lot of fun. Remove to lock. What's that mean? Uh, it definitely doesn't lock. It says remove to lock. It definitely doesn't pull off. Oh, kind of does. There we go. Ah, so now it's locked on off. Pretty cool. It's a nice little safety switch there, but probably easy to lose as well. Oh, nice. I'm definitely going to love this. I can't wait. But it's going to be another week or two before I can actually get to use it because the folks with the garage are on vacation now. So uh, I'll at least get it set up and uh, maybe do some tests. Like I said, I still got to get a set of chisels 
and some other proper tools. So stay tuned for more on this in the coming weeks, probably going into October. See ya.